down. Exhale. Of the toxins of life. Where are the men here? Raise your hands. They said the male species are the most powerful one. Did we do that? Do you know why I know that? Ask me why. Because my wife told me so. But kidding aside, God created man first in his own image and likeness. But do you know why God created man? Ask me why again. To love others.
this place. And we believe that you are here. We believe that you are touching each and every one of us. Healing us. Bracing us.
Lord, be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, and ever shall be, world without end.
that source of stress can be turned to the source of your blessing. Let's declare the presence of God as we say today, I will see. 
receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I know that I am God's beloved. I'm God's servant. I'm God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessed the world. It's 
not about stereotypes. Being a man is not about stereotypes. Because So let's start. So first one 
dream. So real men dream. So don't get me wrong, ha. Tayo mga women, lalo mga strong, dependent women in the house, yun ako, shout out there! Strong and dependent women. Lahat tayo, we have dreams to write. Yan, pero what difference, what the difference is, kung paano natin ina-associate ang ating sarili sa ating dreams. Because women, we define ourselves with our relationships. Pero men, they define themselves by their results. Ano ba? Ayun mga baba, uh, I'm a wife, I'm a mother of three, mga ganyan, di ba? Ang mga lalaki, ay, ano ako eh, I'm an engineer, mga ganyan. Diba yung results na meron siya? We want a man. 
in our lives. At syempre, hindi lang puro salita, puro plano, puro dreams. Dali kasi sabihin na, ay, pangarap ko ganito, ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos pag tinignan mo ang wife, nga me. Diba? Wala na, wala na follow to. But we do not just want a man, or, na, or folks, but we want a man na may guts to get the goal. So that's the next G. No? Real men are brave. Pakiitapit yung katabi mo, friend. Lakasan mo na ang loob mo. Hindi ibig sabihin yan na kapag hindi na natatakot, yun na yun. No? Thing, despite fear. No? God means in men, it means create your own path. Be independent. Having the autonomy. So, paano yan? In the Bible, it says, Therefore, a man leaves his father and mother and leaves his wife and they become one flesh. That is one example in the Bible where independence can be seen. Sa aming mag-asawa, when Nico and I, when we were still mag-boyfriend, no, we were around five years together,
Is how he allowed. 
not to have a big house or get this and get that. What makes me love him more is his goal to be another Jesus to someone else. Honestly, wala lang mas maganda pa. There's nothing sexier than that. For a man to pursue God in every little aspect in his life. So I pray that all the men in the house be that Jesus wherever you go. Thank you and God bless.
this theology, or not, not really theology, but some of the spiritual writers, they, they, they wrote about this, about this concept of Jesus as my husband. Have you heard that? Jesus is my husband. That's why we are called that the wife. The church is the wife. Oh, but the bridegroom. I'm oh, sorry, the the groom, and that is Jesus. So, kaya na, na wala yung mga lalaki. Wala yung mga lalaki. But listen to me, man. A real man has God. A real man has God. Ask me why. Because men follow men. Tama ba? Men follow men. In terms of Passion. Tignan niyo naman yung peg ko. Peg ba ng 29 years old ko? <laughs> Parang hindi nila niwala. Abonti. Ayaw niyo pa rin na bahala kayo. Able to love 
iniwan ang pamilya o iniwan ang pamilya, iniwan ang asawa, mga anak. That's why, men, if you want to be a real man, do not follow just any man. Do not follow just any man. You follow that man.
share to us the Muslim that you like to share to us the gift of giving. Let's welcome Sister Joy. Oh, 
Bak siguro si Lord kasi napaka-faithful ko sa kanya. Binigyan niya ako ng coach. Pero sa akin, pero siguro sa akin, sige tayo na hindi na ako kasi magulag ako ulit. Bigla ka ulit nga ma-overwhelm. Kalimutan ako po. Kaya, huwag po kayong huwag po kayong Thank you. 